Hello wonderful little beans, my name is me and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with today's video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click that bell and of course you stack a B when buying Robux or Premium. Today I am joined by Stephanie. Hello, how are you doing? Hello. Hi, doing your good. halo looks so pretty with the roses on it. I love it. Yeah, the fabric really does wonders. Wait, I just realized you have like a summary journal now, right? <gasps> yeah it's so pretty i love that that's really oh i love the custom images you do for them every time it's so pretty yeah. <laughs> and funnily enough you guys the video is relevant to this too because if we open up stephanie's journal you will see her healer badges in here as well which are going to be one of the main things that we talk about in today's video oh my gosh i can't believe you're on the honor roll as well what a try hard <laughs> Okay, so today, you guys, we're going to be talking a little bit about winning a Halo in Royal High. As many of you will already be aware, winning a Halo in Royal High is not a necessarily easy thing to do. But lots of you guys, obviously, are not in the position to have maybe the diamonds or items to be able to trade for one. And as myself, Stephanie, and Iris, who couldn't make it to the video today, but we know the information about hers, between us have now won seven Halos. I think that we probably are the most equipped to tell you guys a little bit about what winning Halos entails and also tell you guys a little bit about our experiences with winning halos so i'll explain how i won my halos first then you can explain yours and i'll explain irises and then we can talk right. a little bit about debunking some of the i guess fake news that we get in the community a lot about winning halos because there's always those people who like make up stories about how to win a halo that aren't true and it seems to spread a lot so i think we should debunk that afterwards after we've talked about how we got our halos if that sounds good to you Yep. All right, so first things first, for those who don't already know, I was playing Royal High for four years before I ever won a Halo. So if I go inside of my journal, you will see over here, this is the badge for the first Halo I ever won. Now, I actually won two of the same Halo, so that's why I only have one badge. I won the Winter Halo 2022. So I actually won that after having played the game for a total of about four years by the time I won it. As you can see, I played four years, 11 months, and obviously this was in December. So for people who say that like you have to be a new player to win or an old player to win, it's not true because I waited four years years before I ever won a Halo. But basically what happened was I was actually in a private server and I came over to the fountain inside of Divinia Park. Actually, I don't know if it was Divinia Park or if it was Diamond Beach. I kind of am hazy on the specifics, but I do remember I came in here, I voted, obviously I wished into the fountain and then I voted the letter that was recommended by Mafalda's table and somehow I got lucky and won the Halo. The second time I won the exact same Halo was, funnily enough, a few weeks ago, I won the Winter Halo 12. 2022 again which sounds really weird but the reason why is because i was working on a project for barbie in the new school and i wished into the fountain there because you have exactly the same amount of chance in the fountain in the new school as you do in the old one like it's, it's essentially the same thing and i happened to win the halo the only problem was is that we haven't updated the halo in the new school yet because obviously it's not ready to release so it's just a testing fountain right now so since obviously they haven't released it fully it still had the winter halo in it and i won that again instead of the starlight halo which makes me kind of sad i wish i'd have won the starlight halo instead but it is what it is, doesn't really matter. But either way, I still won the Halo fairly because either way, you have the same percentage chance no matter what to win the Halo. So, Seveny, which Halos did you win and how did you win them? Uh, so the first one was Halloween 2021. Uh, it, that took Fancy. me a while, like I think maybe halfway into when they released it. So when I wished in the fountain, uh, I looked away from my screen actually when I when I got it, so I couldn't take a screenshot when I won it. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, I didn't like set my timer every two hours or whatever long it took for it to reset. I just went whenever I, you know, whenever I had the chance. Mm -hmm. Second one was Mermaid 2022. Uh, that was in Diamond Beach when we used to have the fountain there. Mm -hmm. And that I also looked away <laughs> from my screen. Oopsie daisy. But, but guys, don't think that looking away from the screen is like a thing to get the halo. It's yeah, just I that was a huge coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's not a way to win. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember if that was... I think that was a little in the beginning of when Mermaid 2022 came out. Mm -hmm. So I again, I kept trying whenever I, whenever I had the chance. Yeah. Did you do that? Like, how long have you been playing Royal High for at that point when you won your first Halo? It would have been a couple of years, right? Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, so this whole idea that people have about new players having more chance to win on of winning usually is not true, as you can see, because most of us have been playing nope. for a long time when we finally won. One thing I will say is for Iris, she won two of the same Halo at the same time. She won the Mermaid 22 Halo one day after the other. Literally, was I was, crazy. I know, right? I was in a call with her and she wished her to the fountain in Diamond Beach in a public set, on a private server for that one, I think, in a private server and won the Halo. And I was like, are you kidding me? I'm then, still shocked till this day. <laughs> I know, because it was two in a row. The next day she logged on, went into Vinia Park and wished again and won the, ha the fountain Halo again. So she literally won it twice in a row, one day after the other, which is crazy. And then I think it was what, about a week ago, she wished into the fountain in Davinia. Obviously, there isn't one in Diamond Beach anymore, and she won the Starlight Halo. So she is incredibly lucky, and I am blown away by that. But what I wanted to really specifically focus on here, you guys, is some of the myths that people say all the time. So obviously, like with Iris, she wished into a public server for one, and a private server with one. She did the fountain in a different realm at one point. Stephanie, you've won it in two different fountains. Obviously, the Davinia yeah. Park one, and then obviously the one in Diamond, in Diamond Beach. Beach. Yeah. I've won it in two different fountains because I won it in the new school fountain, and I won it in the I think it was Diamond Beach that I won it in so it doesn't matter which fountain you wish in right now there's only one anyway but when there are updates with more than one fountain like for example when Christmas comes or autumn comes and they have the fountain in other places it doesn't matter where you wish you still have the same chance to win secondarily it doesn't matter if you're a new player or an old player, you have the exact same chance. Everybody has the same percentage. I don't think Barbie has ever publicly said what that percentage is, but every single person has the exact same percentage chance to win a Halo as any other. Literally, nobody has more chance than anyone else to win a Halo. Everybody has the exact same chance. And then additionally, on top of that as well, it doesn't matter if you wish in a morning or if you wish right after the Halo's release or if you wish later when it's released or a certain time of day or if you set an alarm for every two hours to come and wish in the fountain or if you just wish when you have time. It doesn't matter. You literally will have the same percentage chance each wish as everyone else every single time. It is purely randomized. People can say all the time that there's ways to make it easier, but there are only officially two ways, technically speaking, where you can make it easier to win a Halo. One of them is to wish every two hours because naturally, the more you wish, the more chance you have to win. Not because your percentage changes, but just because you're wishing more often. If you wish 10 times in a day, then you've got 10 potential chances to win. If you only wish once a day, then you've only got one chance. So obviously you're going to increase your chance a little bit if you wish regularly by setting an alarm or coming online regularly, whatever it might be. But your percentage chance each time you wish is still going to be the same. You're just doing it more often, so there's more chance to win. And the second thing that you can do is utilizing like Mafalda or anybody else's tables because they do write down the answers that are proven to win people halos and obviously not every answer can guarantee a halo there's only usually one or two of the answers that guarantee a halo each time so it makes sense to use those tables and wish into the fountain and pick the answer that you know already has been proven to give a halo because that will mean that you have at least a little bit more chance because you're picking the correct answer rather than one that doesn't have a halo option but again I want to reiterate you're still going to have the same percentage chance when you actually wish as anyone else at any other time it doesn't matter it is totally random there's so many people i don't know if you've seen stephanie who say that like it's not fair or that because they're an older player they don't have a chance or because they've yes, won one before lot. yeah it happens so much people say like if they've won one before it ruins the rarity so that they won't be able to win another one or if you've won one some people say if you won one before it makes it easier to win another one all of these things are not true it is just totally randomized with a really tiny ratio percentage of like 0.34% or something like that chance that you will win a Halo. It's a really, 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 really small chance and that's why they are so special and so rare. And I'm hoping that since Barbie is clearly right now making less Halos every year and stuff like that now that they're mainly seasonal, I'm hoping that in the new school the Halos are going to play an even more special role in them and become even more exciting. Fingers crossed. But yeah, so I hope this helps you guys if you are looking for a Halo because obviously between myself, Stephanie and I have won seven Halos. So I think, you know, we kind of know what we're talking about when it comes to winning halos in the game and then obviously we've traded Indeed. for a lot as well unfortunately if you want a halo desperately and can't obviously win one the only options you're going to have is to trade for one or watch a ton of Lance's streams so that you can redeem one other than that you are probably not going to get one unless you win a giveaway or a pageant or something but for the most part you guys if you want to win a halo in the fountain all you have to do is just keep wishing and you will eventually hopefully finally get one is there anything else you'd like to add stephanie 
Um, I forgot to mention that all the, the Halo answers that I got to win those Halos, it was from Mafalda's table. It wasn't yeah. out of like guessing. And so was Iris's, I'm pretty sure. So like, in other words, you guys, we all use Mafalda's table or, or there's other tables online as well. I always trust Mafalda's because she does a lot of really extensive research to get her answers. And that means that you're more likely to win one. So why would you not want to use it? All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Stephanie, for joining me. No problem. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Click that bell. And of course, you start could be on buying Robux or Premium. And we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.